he's fighting with them foes all the time But I gotta do it, they always stay out of line Sometimes I wanna just chill and land But I'm the protector of the emeralds and gems Stay knuckled up in a deep cut I'm seeing skulls that burn, they trying to throw me off Avoiding my luck, I'm feeling kind of stuck Don't call me nothing, give me a box Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Rod SNG, continuing this let's play on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. Last time we left off, we started the game off and were introduced to uh, Skull Kid, Tattle, and uh, also we were turned into, um, the, we were turned into Deku Link. But anyway, um... Yeah, I think he's talking about uh, the great. She's talking about the great fairy. So, before we can actually do that, we need to head over to East Clock Town. I think it's which one it's in. Or actually, yeah, I think it's East Clock Town. Um, but yeah, before we begin, I would like to ask y'all to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to 25 likes. I think that'd be pretty good. And if we can, I'll put out the next part even sooner. So today we will be covering the first three days of this game. And also, I will be doing a giveaway on this game, so if you are interested in a free copy of this game and would like to actually try this game out, if you've never played this game before, this is a perfect opportunity to get to try out this game. And if you want to know how, check out the first part um, of this game, of this uh, LP. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I gotta say, so let's get this going. Like I said, we're gonna be doing the first three days of this game, and uh, I'm really excited to play this game again. It's been forever. Um... I think the last time I've actually sat down and played a good bit of this game, like I've always came back here and there to play it, but I think the last time I've actually sat down and played this game has been ages. It's been five plus years for me. And it's not because I don't like this game or I don't, um, I actually really, really love this game, but it's not, I don't know, it's just that I've always been like focusing on other things and all that good stuff, but I've actually beaten this game a couple times when I was a kid. It's just how much I've loved it that um, I've done that. So, um, yeah, let's get this going. We do have a save feature right here, and we also have a, a, a bank now. Two new things that they added in. So if we want to save, which I'm not going to do yet. I'm not doing that yet. So um, and we also have the bank here. Now, from what I remember, the bank used to be in West Clock Town, which is like that area where it slopes upward. Um, yeah, sure, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Let's... We'll, we'll give our 15 up so that um after a while after you give enough stuff he starts giving you all kind of things and it helps out later on so um yeah i need to figure out which way to go that's pretty much uh i think it's right over here actually let's uh get up there i think we need to head this way though so let's get moving this is actually a really lively area it's already nine o'clock look at this we have a new clock in this game and that's the one thing I was really happy about, like when I when I checked out the um, footage of this game and whatnot. So there we go. We have the fairy that we needed. There we go. We're gonna have to go bring it over to the um, the great fairy. But um, yeah, that was the one thing I was really really happy to see come back was the uh, clock on the top screen. Now I remember there being like beta footage going around, and the clock was on the bottom screen, and it was like really really small, and it kind of bugged me at first. So I'm really just happy to see the like it being on the top. My only other complaint, like I said, was the um, what is it? My only other complaint was the the um, hearts being on the bottom screen now, which it's kind of it kind of bugs me. But I got I'm getting over it already. It's not that big of a deal for me. But at first I was just like, what the heck? Why is it down there? You know. But anyway, we need to go to North Clock Town. I don't remember exactly which way I can get to it from there. I don't even have the map yet. Like, we just started this game off, so, um, yeah, we're in Salt Clock, Salt Clock Town. Yeah, I think we can actually come from right over here. There we go. Let's, uh, head that way. So, within the first three days, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff. Let's just say that. And right off the bat, this is North Clock Town. Um, actually, a really, probably one of the quietest areas of this, uh, of the, of the areas in this, in this area. Uh, <laughs> but anyway... Um, we need to head right over to the great fairy herself and give her back her piece of fairy. The last, the last of it because 
Skull Kid actually terrorized her and split up all of her uh, fairy pieces. So she can't she can't be human yet. Basically, she doesn't have all her powers. So now she does. Right, we're giving her back her uh, piece. So here we go. I see they fixed her model up a bit. And she still looks weird. Tattle, and you, young one, of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that that masked child was helping me, but I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Yeah, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> He's like Link is just like Link is just high off life right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we have magic powers, at least a little bit right now. Yeah, you have the granted magic power. You can shoot a big bubble. Okay, so aim with that and sh target with L. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, uh, we need the observatory and Skull Kid's whereabouts. So there you go. Uh, we're actually gonna have to, we're gonna have, we're gonna, that's gonna be in a few seconds, so. There we go. So let's head back over. We're actually gonna go ahead and grab the map for this area because, like I said, as much as I played this game back then, I don't remember, like, all the, um, routes that well. Like, I'll be honest. But, can we get it from Tingle like this? Oh my, my name is Tingle. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Tingle is a 35-year-old man who wants to be a fairy, and he's not. He's human. So, um, yeah, he thinks that we're a fairy, and, well, technically we are, but, yeah, we're gonna get the clock time. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot I deposited that crap. Oh, well. I'll come get that in a second, but, um, what we need to do right here is target with L. Okay, can we look upwards? Yeah, they changed the, the control, so... Okay, there we go. Here we go. Look upwards. Come on. Oh my god, it's so weird. But there we go. We got it. This guy's like, what the heck just happened? He's looking around like, who the heck? Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it easy. I, could ju I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So from what I know, this test right here, we have to find these five uh, kids. And the original N64 version, it was like really easy. Like they always stay in the same spot. But from what I heard, um, like what, what the heck? This kid just fell over. <laughs> That's new. I've never seen that happen before. But um, they, it constantly changes. So you never know where these kids are going to be. There's the first one. And what I'm going to do before anything, I'm going to use these Deku Nuts. I'm going to use my Deku Nut and come on. Get over there. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna use that and uh, flash these kids. But I think I can get this first one without um, having to do all that stuff. Cause this one just like hangs in the corner. He won't go anywhere. So four more to go. That one's actually really easy. And if I'm lucky enough, the other one will be over here. Doesn't look like it though. Yeah, there's usually like one right there, and then there's one behind here. But like I said, the 3DS version they seem to change some stuff to make it a little more harder, or at least more interesting. So, like, I don't know where these kids are going to be now. Like, if I'm lucky, I'll just check, like, the original spots. And if they're there, then I'll grab them. But, um, there might be one here and there that might be, like, in these little boxes. Yes, I thought so. So break that open. Yep, three more to go. And, let's see, where else could one be? I think there's, like, two in a box, if anything. Alright, so, let's head to another area of town. Um, worst case scenario, there might be one, like, on top of a roof or something that I'm gonna have to get, but, I don't know, it shouldn't be that hard. Let's see. There's usually, like, one... Okay, we got a rupee. Yeah, I'm gonna check up here. L why not? Let's check up here, because usually there's always one up here. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, I see him from here. Uh, let's flash him. Okay, he's too far away. Sit down. <laughs> There we go, that's two more to go. So that was actually really easy. So, um, I guess here and there they're gonna be in their same spots, but they, they did change it up. Like, that's definitely a thing now. Um, 
We'll have to see where they're at, though. I'm just going to check their original spots, and if they're there, then they're there. But there's that kid right there. You can't you can't actually catch him because he's the the one that we need to... Um, that he, he blocks the observatory where we're going to need to get to in a second. Uh, where else can I check, though? I need to... There's, like, one more spot on top of a roof I can check, but I don't think it's in this area. Ba, ba, da, 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 ba, yeah. All right. Dude, it's already 4 p.m. As you can see, it's like slowly getting darker. It's starting to turn like noonish. And this dog right here needs to go away. Because if you let him, he will attack you. And he will take your hearts. And you can't attack him back. So that's always great. Let's actually check in the laundry pool area. There might be one here. You never know. You know, they change all this stuff up. Might see one in here. Let's see. Let's check this area out. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think there's one in here. Okay. Let's uh, head back up then. Gotta find these kids because they're they're everywhere. Like they're not in their original spots. That's what that's what kind of sucks. I wish I could just like go through and um, find right where they originally are. I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can use this one yet. This guy. We're not gonna be able to. He's gonna he's gonna make it to where we can't use this uh, flower yet. So, yeah, we can't use this yet. Alright, 60 hours remain. It's already been 12 hours. Yes, that's crazy. How fast time rolls in this game. Let's check over here because I know that there's at least one here. There's always one in uh, West Clock Town. Or at least I hope there is. Yep, there is one. And then we got to find this last kid. I have no clue where this last one's going to be because I checked all their original locations. And I didn't see them, so we're just going to have to kind of look around. If it takes too long, then I will probably just edit and find that last kid. Hey! Sit down. Sit down. So yeah, we got one more of these little kids to find. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look around one more time and see if we can find the, this last kid. Um, if anything, he's probably like off and like on top of a roof. But you never know where these kids are, man. Like, they change all this stuff up, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it does help. It does make it a little more interesting. You know, I'm not complaining. Get away from me, dog. I'm not trying to deal with you. All right, so we're back. Um, a quick little edit. I had to figure out where this kid was. And look, I swear we passed right here. I did not see this box. He got me. All right, so let's just catch him. There we go. That's the fifth kid. And this one actually took me a little while to find this last kid. So there we go. If only you were human. I could give you the original Bomber's Notebook and make you a member. But what do you guys think? No way. No scrubs. I guess not. Once, once we let we let some kid in that wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we regret it. Sorry, but I'll teach you the code, like just like I promised. I could tell you the code only once, though, so pay close attention. Are you ready? All right, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so two, three, five, one, four. Two, three, five, one, four. Two, three, five, one, four. All right, I just got to put that in my head right quick. <laughs> so, um, excuse me for doing that. All right. I think I got it in my head now. Plus, it's right here. We could just, like, walk right over there. We could walk right over to the kid. But, uh, yeah, we got the code, and we can head over to the observatory. So, let's do this. If you want to know the code, you have... Yeah, so... All right, two, three, five, one, four. There we go. Not bad. I always found it weird how this kid, like, grunts after we know the code. He's like, ugh. It's weird, but, yeah. It has a lot of cool stuff, and uh, the Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever. Alright, there we go. I swear he says something different in the original game, though. I don't remember him saying that. Anyway, let's head over to the observatory. I love this area, how dark and mysterious this area is. Man, it's just so cool. They definitely lit it up, though. I can tell you that. But I just love, like, when it's nighttime and you're just, like, down here, it looks so awesome. Man, and it's so dark and quiet. We can't, we can't attack this thing yet, because we don't have our uh, sword. So yeah, man, it's just so cool in this area though. I love it. And can we pick up these pots? Okay, yeah. Let's uh, get these. Uh... All right, there we go. Oh, dawn of the second day. So our first day is already done. This game, the time moves really, really fast. So you have to get stuff done. You can't take any breaks in this game. You can't just like, oh. And I actually screwed myself up now that I think about it. Actually, let me get back right quick. 
Yeah, I actually screwed myself up because I want to do those mini games. I actually forgot to do that in this recording. But if you do like a certain uh, mini game, I'll show y'all right where it's at later, I guess. Um, if you do the mini game in succession three days in a row, you get a free heart piece. But you have to spend rupees. That's the kind of sucky thing about it. So you have to be really confident in your abilities with this mini game. But here we go. We are in the observatory. This area is so beautiful. Let's see what Tato has to say about it. I wonder how the astronomer knows the, the Skull Kid. Well, look at the time. We don't have two days left. Okay. So let's head up the stairs, man. The music here is so awesome. This area is so beautiful. You just have like all the little rocks and all this beautiful. All This is all so amazing. I just love this game so much. Like everything about it. But let's talk to this guy right here. Well, well, a strange a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your matters seem much, much better than those of the mischievi that mischievous friend of yours the other day. He's talking about the Skull Kid. Hoof, hoof, hoof. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he's still my moon tear. There's no stopping him. Even now, I just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yes, I will. So yeah, this actually plays a huge part in uh, progress and in this game. So there we go. Uh, we need to look up into the sky. And there it is. Let's zoom it in. Wait. I pressed the wrong button. Crap. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Let's do that again. For whatever reason, um, I pressed the B button. And I didn't want to do that. So uh, where's this kid at? There's the moon right there. And we need to find where this little... This little brat is. He should be like on the top of a thing. Let's see. Let's zoom that in. He should be over here. Yes, he is. There he is. He's gonna look up. And got a, a moon tear going down on a Tuesday. Whee! And we're gonna go have to go pick that up outside. So I just love like looking in this in this telescope though, because even though it is just to do that, wow, you're cool. You're cool. Okay. God dang skull kid. So anyway, um I do like looking in this thing. Let me uh zoom it out right quick. Because there's all kind of stuff going on outside. It's not just to look and get the moon tier. Yeah, it's just not for the moon tier. That's like all kind of stuff going on outside. You can see all of Termina from outside. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. But uh let's head outside. Open that door. There it is. Ooh, it's raining. Yeah, I forgot it's the second day. It rains on the second day. So we do have the moon tier. It radiates so beautifully. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Lower the screen. Yeah, we don't... I guess we really don't have to worry about that. But there's the moon. The moon sure is huge right now. It looks like it's gonna come crashing down on us. Yes, it will. But don't worry about that, silly moon. Focus on the skull, kid. We know where he is now, and there's no nothing left to do here. Let's go to Clock Tower. Alright then, let's head over to the Clock Tower. So, um, yeah, it's, on the second day, it does rain, and it actually gives a really gloomy vibe. Um, I actually like it, because mostly, all the people are inside on the second day. Not compared to the third day, there's like barely anybody outside, because they're all scared. But on the second day, it's just like a general rainy day. No one really realizes the moon is um it still feels like a normal day people don't realize that the moon's out there ready to crash on them but we do and we have to save them because we don't we don't want them to live in fear and die so let's get moving that way like and uh we can skip across water with it with deku link and you will get to use this mask later so that's he's one of my favorite masks but in this game now, I don't really like him as much. They nerfed him. His run is slower. His attack doesn't glide as well. It's, it's just not as cool. But uh, I will be using him, obviously. Because I'm going to need him in a lot of areas. But look, it is just raining. All the normal kids that are outside, all the people that are outside are just, uh... Hey, you, you still hanging around? Wait a minute. You're not lost, are you? Okay. Wow, oh, he's, he's trying to be funny. You're funny. Okay, you're cool. But, um, anyway, we do have our map. He was telling us that if we don't have the map, then we're lost to go talk to Tingle, I guess. Um, there isn't really anything else we can really do besides, um... Hey, you got this, uh, jerk over here. Look at this guy. So, he wants, he wants something nice for his wife. And he wants a moon tear, which, yes, we're gonna uh, do that. So, let's put our, uh... 
Come on. Okay, I guess we have to select it first, so... This is still kind of new to me, so... Let's give it to him. You must hand it over to me. I'll give you the deck flower included. So we got the deed. Not really much you could do with it besides use this uh, flower. But there we go. The title deed is on high demand amongst Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. It's not really, he's just saying that, but whatever. So yeah, get up out, get up out my trap house, goodbye. Alright, there you go. So we're gonna need this later. Like I said, there isn't really anything else we can really do on these two days. Um, obviously, you do have the mini games I'm gonna show off right quick and all that good stuff, but... I don't think there's really anything else we can do on these days. I mean, uh, what I'm probably going to do is try out those mini games. Might as well try for some money if I have any on me. Let me see if I have at least 10 uh, rupees. No, I don't. Crap. Uh, let's see if the bank is here, though. I might withdraw something and try out a mini game to show y'all how it works. No, they got rid of the bank. Okay, so they did move the bank on the other side now. That's weird. Why is it way over there, man? I like. I just liked how it was right here. Like how you could come to the bank. And just like come talk to this dude in the little thing. And he come up here and they play music and stuff. Like it's a good vibe. But anyway. I'm gonna have to go find this dude. I think it was in East Clock Town if I remember. Maybe it was South Clock. But I, yeah it was South Clock. Okay. Yeah let's go withdraw some rupees. Withdraw. So we need. We could probably just take six. Because I want to try and get these rupees. But you know what. Um, thank you. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be putting more rupees in there in the future. But obviously, we really can't do anything right now. That, the only way you can actually get rupees right now is to do those mini games, And that's why I'm here. So. Alright. Uh, we need to go this way, actually. I don't know why I went that way again. Like I said, I don't remember all these, uh... I don't remember the paths extremely well. But I know, like, I recognize... Plus, they changed a lot of stuff, man. It's just, like, weird. Like, trying to remember where everything's at now. That is different. But, um... If you come over here, you have to do this once a day on every three days. I already screwed it up in this recording. But, why not just show y'all how it works and everything. So, let's head this way. Might as well just get take a quick look at it. Alright. Let's go over and talk to this dude. Might as well try for this, uh, see if we can get this money. Because I think the first, or maybe, maybe they change it. Like, I guess if you come on the second day, you have to play the second day's difficulty. That would suck. But, you know, whatever the case is, uh, let's give it a try. Now, I, I actually suck badly at these, so if you see me play bad, then I'm sorry. Okay, can we not fall? Can we not fall? Can No! What? There was nowhere to land. Okay, so... Wow, we lost our money. <laughs> yeah, screw you. Okay. Uh, I don't have any rupees, so I'm going to have to do this another time to show y'all. Alright, so we're back in North Clock Town. Like I said, it is raining. It is gloomy. There's not much we can do at this moment besides uh, skip ahead in time. That's really all we can do. Now, like I said, this right here, I think... I think this is glitched now. You can't actually get up there anymore, which kind of sucks because they nerfed it where you used to be able to just like constantly tap it and then get up there. But, you know, they fixed that glitch. That sucks. Anyway, um, I think that there's one in West Clock Town. I want to say that there's a thing in West Clock Town to where we can uh, talk to the Scarecrow and he furthers a us ahead in time so that we can skip to the last day and pretty much finish up this uh, area. Should be able to go this way and then come into West Clock. There it is. Yes. The busy area of this uh, place is West Clock. That's why I don't, I just, that's kind of why I don't like the bank being taken out. I mean, you have all these nice shops and all this good stuff, and then you have the bank. It just felt like the, the busiest area of this, uh, of the entire area. I think it's this door. Okay, wrong. All right, so second night, 36 hours remain. Like I said, not much we can do besides uh, further our time. But here we go. It is night time. You got this guy working right now. There's like one guy that works the night shift, which is this dude right here. Then you have the morning guy. Which is, I thought that was always a cool touch, you know. 
Might get to come back and check him out later. Yo, hey, baby, I'm a Stalin, I'm a Stalin scarecrow, wandering in search of a, ple a pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you would like, baby, we can dance. We can da we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Yes, we can. All right. So we can skip over to the third day. There we go. Love this music right here. Sorry, a song. And the is just looking like, okay. <laughs> but, um, I want to say I can, maybe, I don't know. I don't remember if you can do it again. We'll see. If we can skip one more day. Yeah, we can. Okay, sweet. That's what I want to do. So this dude's just going to dance one more time for us. We're going to have a ball. Dude, this part right here is just like really trippy. It hurts your eyes, honestly. There we go. It is 12 hours to go. Yeah, so we can't do this anymore. We're actually really close to the time we need to be. Alright, so there, that's that. We can uh, go out and check out the night. Here we go, the third night. We're getting dangerously close to um, this game. There's still kids outside. <laughs> the not-so-dumb Deku scrub. Alright, this guy, I guess they like us, so. Like, they call us the not-so-dumb. Like, most people, like, they're obviously called Deku Scrub, so the one kind of likes them. They kind of look down upon, so. It's actually cool that they, like, call him. They kind of, like, respect him a bit. But anyway, um, there isn't really much we can do, honestly, until. We can just, like, skip ahead in time, but, you know. We have to wait until midnight of tonight, and. That's going to be a little while, so I'm probably just going to hang out a bit and just chill. Um, like I said, there isn't really much we can do. So, um, yeah, I'll see y'all right around the time it becomes uh, midnight. All right, so we are back. Um, oh, well, they're closing. Well, dang, son. All right, so I just want to point out that guy right there. That's the other guy that uh, works here. He works the night shift. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I want to try and find different things to make time pass, but I don't know. There isn't really th anything else that we can do. So yeah, this was the one that we needed for later. This one's going to be really important to get over there. But um, we're just going to hang out still a little bit and uh, wait till it's midnight. All right, so we are back. It is 1130-ish. Um, we're really getting close to the time. Um, let me see if I can use my camera to look up at the sky. There is the moon right there. Holy crap. It is really really close it is getting really close to our heads there it is all right time is officially it is midnight so yeah and look at this the clock comes down too bad there's no one outside like everyone's terrified of this of this freaking moon like no one wants to see the, the fireworks and the carnival and everything the festival but anyway that opens up and that will be really important for us in a second so now the clock is officially opened. But anyway, we have roughly five real minutes left to do everything we need to do before um, things get really serious. So within these five minutes, if there's like anything you want to do or, you know, get all that stuff done now. So yeah, um, there's only one thing really you want to do, if you ask me, and that's come up here. There's like, there's still kids outside. That's crazy. Like if I seen a moon, like, hurling towards towards my head and uh, like people about to die i would not be outside like i'd be like no i'm gonna die now. all right but i don't remember which door it is i want to say it's uh on this side let's see let's go in the, it's it's one of these doors uh let's see let's go down okay yeah it's actually on the other side right here come around that around here and there's this hand right here so uh let's talk to him P -p -p paper please all right, so we can pick an item to use. We do have this deed. He needs some paper, he says. So let's use our paper. And what does he do? Who? You saved me. And I think he's taking a poop. I think... Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, in the original game, they never really... So yeah, we got our first piece of art in this game. I know I, prob I probably should have been... This should have been like my third one if I actually um, didn't screw up on those mini games and whatnot. I could have had three by now. And uh, yeah, let's just head over to the clock, to the main uh, area. Oh my God, the music here though. 
The music that plays right here. Listen to this. Would you not be scared with this music playing and the and the uh, moon slowly hur hurtling towards your head and the constant rumbling, the earthquakes, everything is just amazing how it all boils down to these last five minutes in this game. Oh my god, though. This is just absolutely amazing. I just love how the first, how early on how this game starts off with like a really dark start, you know? It's just cool. I don't know. I just, that's why I really, I love the way this game starts and I love this game. But anyway, let's shoot up. Look how close this moon is, man. This is ridiculous how close this moon is to our heads. But we have roughly two minutes to go. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. So yeah. There's our second piece of heart. So we need two more. I'll probably be getting that in the next episode. So we can get our first uh, full heart. But there we are. And Link is ready to battle as you can see him in this little stance. But look at how close this moon is to our heads. Eh. He has our ocarina. Sis! Ah, Tail! We've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid. What if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on. Are you listening? See, the Skull Kid is actually... He's Swamp Mountain, Ocean, Canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Shut up. <laughs> Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. So actually, right now he is um, under the control of the of Majora's Mask. Like the mask brought him over to steal it from the the uh, happy sales mask salesman, and now he's under full control. So the kid that they know and love is not that's not him right now. But even if you were able to come now, even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hee <laughs> hee. Just look above you. If there's something that can that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Here it is. Now this moon's really gonna start moving. Cause he's like, he's speeding up time basically. Now this moon's moving even quicker than it was before. But um, yeah, we need to make our move now. Now or never. Let's do this, we need to warm it up. Just take a shot at this guy. Hit him, there we go. He drops, he drops the ocarina somehow. But he got smacked with the bubble. There we go. Let's get our ocarina. Holy crap, the ocarina's big. <laughs> I don't remember being that big, but you got the ocarina time back. Princess Zelda gave you th this pre this precious instrument. Take it out. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So um, suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. And I'm gonna assume that they changed up the button layout for this uh, song, the Song of Time. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Zelda, I love you so much. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. So sweet, man. Alright, I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when we shall meet again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember, remember this song. And I love this song, Song of Time. I love like when you actually put it in, how it finishes up. But anyway, she's going to show us what we need to play. And luckily, um, all we have to do is just basically... <laughs> I screwed up. Okay. I don't remember my X and Y's too well, so let me try this again. All right, X... There we go. So he's going to play it now. Ba, ba, da, 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 ba, da, da. You remember the song of time. Oh my God. This melody lingered on the edges of your mind. It is a song of memories of Princess Zelda, AKA the baddest princess in Nintendo history. <laughs> oh my God. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Uh, we're actually just gonna finish this up right here. We have to play this once again. All right, so get that getting back that old ocarina is it gonna help us? So we actually have to play this right now. Anybody, somebody, anybody, guys of time, help us, please. We need more time. All right, so um, 
yeah. We need to pull out our ocarina right now. Huh? That instrument, when did you? That's right, boy. We need to play this right now. Let's do this. All right, so. There it is. Let's play that out loud. Ba -ba -da 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 -ba -ba -da. And we're going back in time, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And until then, peace out. Y'all have a good night.